Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make text wrapped on another object in Tinkercad. So, we're first going to take the object that we want to wrap the text around. We're going to use a sphere. So now I'm going to pull out the text. I'm just going to leave it in text. I'm going to scale it down so it can fit on the sphere. Now I accidentally made it a little too small. So I'm going to try to get it to be a little bit smaller than the actual sphere. I'm going to rotate it to 45 degrees and then I'm going to move it up and then I'm going to align the text with the sphere. Now I'm going to take the work plane and then I'm going to pull it on top of the text and then I'm going to select the text and I'm going to pull it out so it goes pretty far. I'm going to reset the work plane. I'm going to select the sphere. Hit Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to scale it up. And then I'm going to hit Control D again. It's going to duplicate it one more time. Then we're going to pull the top two of them off. Then I'm going to make a hole in it. I'm going to align the two, then group them. So, I accidentally didn't align it on one of the axes. So I'm going to go back and realign it. Now if we group it, it's directly in the middle. So I'm going to switch to perspective view so I can get the sphere aligned. Just going to align all of these along that axis. I'm going to take the whole object then I'm going to group it with the text object. So I didn't fully cut away on it. So I'm going to bring in some more boxes and I'm going to slowly remove more and more of the text. Pull another box in. Then I'm just going to pull this one out. Turns out it cuts through some of the text. Just going to select these. Group them. Then I'm going to put the work plane on an angle of the text. Pull it in. Group it. going to continue grouping them. I could have made the outside sphere a lot larger, but I'm 
So then now, all of the text has been removed. So you can just group it, get out of perspective mode. And that is how you wrap text around an object. Now, the one problem with this is it looks best from this way and I just realized it's completely wrong so just flip it and now the problem is it only really looks um, like normal text from this exact angle but at other angles it is at least readable as text So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it and tell me why in the comments. If you have ideas for other videos, let me know down below. And as always, keep on printing.